Shalom and blessings, warriors of who and the truth. I hope you can hear me over my background music. We are going to start with this is video one of the lie remember. The lie remember? The truth will set you free. I love the cover of this book. This book is really nice. Introduction. What's this book about? This book asks important questions that will disturb those that may think they've found the truth. In the search for truth, we have to keep vigilant and test the validity of everything we believe. The scriptures of truth begin by showing how easily we can be deceived and the first lie ever recorded is documented for everyone in the first several chapters after creation. Uh, a serpent told a lie about eating something the first humans were forbidden to even touch. Ever, ever since humanity has been, has been on a death walk with the word of Yahuwah ringing in their ears of how to live. If we believe his word, we can recover. If we choose to not believe, we will die. Each of us will die or live by our own choices in the matter. The same lie is deceiving humanity today, and the scriptures tells us it is being told by those who teach us. No, no one can obey for you, but it is not obedience that redeems you from your sins. The truth will set you free. If you abide in Yahushua's word, he did not say he would obey for you. We are redeemed by trusting in his blood and not the works of sacrificing animals. That's the old covenant. We repent of our sins against his covenant of loving kindness that teaches us how to love. We don't keep on sinning to ex exploit his loving kindness. The questions in this book will change you forever. You will never be able to return to the way you've been led to believe. Because everything you've ever been taught has been with the objective of making you believe you can disobey Yahuwah and still live. How the teachers have done this to everyone is explained using the scriptures of truth. <clears throat> when you find the truth, you can be set free from the lie. If you want to inherit its eternal life, guard the commandments. They will never pass away. His yoke or teaching is not heavy. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. The whole world has been deceived. And the truth reveals how in the last days people will mount up a great number of teachers that will teach what their itching ears want to hear and turn aside to myths. Turning aside to myths happens. What could possibly go wrong? Um... Cause 2 Timothy 4, Effect Malachi 4, FossilizedCustoms.com. You can find this sticker on that website if you guys want. And um, I would show you guys a, I would show you guys one of them, but I, they're they're in the other room. Um, where are those great numbers of teachers to be found? Find out by reading the questions that follow. It will break your heart when you read them. Because the truth will be revealed to you and you will awaken. Something is about to happen to everyone in this world. And that is why you are reading these words right at this moment. Someone is calling you to awaken. You may think you have, have known him. But what's more important is that he knows you. If you hear the call of your shepherd, run to him. The time is nearer than anyone thinks it is. None of the wicked shall understand, but those who have insight shall understand. See Daniel 12.10. Blind guides are everywhere. Their weeds have grown thick and are steadfastly blocking out the light, choking the wheat. Reapers are coming. Help, blow the shofar. Big questions. Big questions will be asked in this little book. Humpty Dumpty is a metaphor for what will happen when we lie. Trust in one's word is broken when we lie, and the damage is done catastrophic. The damage done is catastrophic. 
all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Humpty represents trust. Proverbs 29.12 says, If a king listens to lies, all his servants become wicked. Do not deceive one another or spread gossip. Yahuwah hates lying lips. Proverbs 6.16-19 He'll use the same measure we use to forgive. Matthew 7.1-3 And by our words, we will, we will be declared righteous. And by our words, we will be condemned. Teachers have exalted themselves as purveyors of truth. Yet when you show them how they neglect the word of truth, they invent excuses or use logical fallacies to deceive casuistry. As the lies pile higher and higher, they become so familiar that they are accepted to be truth. Children lie to save face. Children lie to save face and justify them by new lies to hide each previous lie. So it stacks higher and higher. The questions in this book will change you. Ask them of yourself, friends and teachers following traditions. Tell them you love them and you are acting only out of love. Many verses of scripture can prove we have been lied to and you are about to awaken to them. Scripture also tells us who has misled us and how to be set free from all the lies. Why the lies have continued will enrage you. When you fully awaken, you will in, in, you will enrage a being scripture believers know is the father of lies. You will anger Hashatan. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Ephesians 6, 12 through 13. Because we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against authorities, against the world rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual entities of wickedness in the heavenlies, demonic forces. Because of this, take up the complete armor of Yahuwah, so that you have power to withstand in the wicked yom, or day, and having done all, to stand. Humanity failed to believe Yahuwah in the garden and fell for the most obvious lie of them all. It could have gone down differently had they not blamed everyone they possibly could standing nearby. What did we learn from that experience? When you begin to doubt Yahuwah's words, then, be then before you act on anyone else's words, check it out to make sure first. Test all this, test the spirits, test everything. We all have the written word of Yahuwah to consult, but the footnotes will often argue with what the text is saying. When this happens, you are being influenced not to believe what Yahuwah said, but instead to believe other voices. Blind guides are all around, and they rely on our ignorance of the truth to make you follow them. The simple believes every word, but the clever one watches his step. Proverbs 14.15 BYNB Blind guides. Yahusha's greatest problem with the teachers was how they placed traditions above Torah. Torah is Hebrew for instructions. Nothing has changed and his anger burns. We must test everything we hear by the word of Yahuwah and throw out the leaven of men's teachings. Yahusha is our only chief or rabbi. 2 Thessalonians 2, 7 through 12 says, there is delusion, and the deceptions will increase lawlessness, a working of error. Our teachers are the source of the error, for the mystery of lawlessness, living without law, is already at work. Only he, he who now restrains or controls will do so until he is taken out of the way, and then the lawless one will be revealed whom the master will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. He will melt the elements. The coming of the lawless one is according to the work of Satan with all powers, signs, and lying wonders and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish. Because they did not receive the love of the truth, they might be saved, that they might be saved. And for that reason, Allahim will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie.
that they may they, that they all may be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Ask your Christian pastor, do you teach truth or tradition? Scripture is loaded with warnings on how men will turn aside to myths and abandon sound teachings. 2 Timothy 4.4 4. All scripture is Elohim breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training. 2 Timothy 3.16-17 Revelation 12.17 reveals how those who guard the commandments of Elohim and hold it to the testimony of Yahusha enrage the dragon. Who are the Nicolaitans? The word is used twice at Revelation 2 and means rulers over the people. They restrain our understanding of Yahuwah's will, holding back the key of knowledge, the name of Yahuwah. They travel great distances to make students of their traditions, which is why Yahushua said he hated them. The traditions of men have replaced the ways of Yahuwah with all the trappings of sun worship. This is why Christianity looks like sun worship. Yahuwah told the false teachers their sickness is incurable, and they could not be cured because they preferred their position. Teaching authorities over us feed us their leaven, or added words. But we are to purge out the old leaven of men's teachings and live on the words of Yahuwah. Every word of Yahuwah is perfect, directing our steps. Yahusha is about to sweep away the refuge of lies and pour out his spirit on all flesh. Because they are the source of the confusion, pastors need to be presented with the big questions so they can turn away from their weak and miserable principles handed down to them from traditions. They have excused and adopted every pagan tradition and devoured the sheep they were entrusted to teach. Yahushua's Nazarim are here to nourish and protect the sheep. Be courageous, but kind. Ask these questions of your pastor. Do you teach truths? What is the renewed covenant? You don't know? I'll tell you, Bean. See Yermiyahu or Jeremiah 3131. The lie has dominated men's teachings for so long that the truth will sound ridiculous to most people. The old and the renewed involved how sins were atoned for. The old priesthood was imperfe imperfect because it was the schoolmaster involving animal blood. It is now obsolete, done away with, and the perfect offering for sin is now by belief in Yahushua's blood. He brought this out by taking the cup of wine and saying, For this is my blood, that of the renewed covenant, which is shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. <clears throat> Matthew 26, 28. Yahushua told us to remember the renewed covenant, his blood. Our belief in him is perfected by our obedience. Romans 3 is referring to how the works of the law could never justify because that law concerning the old priesthood and the animal blood is used as a covering for sin. Obedience of the commandments is not the works of the law. And those who teach against obeying are the birds stealing the good seed. They get away with it right before your eyes. And they are paid by those who demand their ears to be tickled with the lies. Why does Christianity look exactly like sun worship? In Jeremiah or Yermiyahu, there is no letter J in Hebrew, Greek, or Latin. In, is, is scripture the Elohim breathed word of Yahuwah? Should all men live by it? And if they do, who will be offended most? That's a question that needs to be asked. <clears throat> is Greek or Hebrew the most trusted source for truth? Why does everything seem to be derived from Greek? Are sacraments real or illusions? Why do we meet in the morning on the first day of the week? Should we be observing the festivals of Levit Leviticus 23? Zechariah 14, 16, you can find the answer to that. But um, we should be observing the festivals. But our pastors and preachers... Um, if you haven't come out of her yet, come out of Babylon yet, and you're still going to the circuses, 
your pastor or preacher would tell you to celebrate the holidays, the traditions of men, and they would tell you to not rest on the Shabbat. Just pick any day, like they told Lou, Brother Lou. Which, okay, hold on. Which festivals did Yahushua guard? That's another question to ask your pastor. Were the festivals Yahushua observed weak and miserable, or was that this the description Paul had used for the old pagan traditions the Galatians had formerly practiced? Another question to ask, what is the key of knowledge? Did Yahuwah's name become concealed by translators by the terms Adonai or Adoni, um, Kyrios, Dominus, then L-O-R-D? Is he glad about, about it? Is the name J-E-S-U-S an invention based on the I-E-S-B first used in the Latin Vulgate? What does J-E-S-U-S mean? Does it mean the horse? Um, I would ask, does it mean earth pig? Because that's how, what, what I found it meant in Latin. Why is the name Yahusha unknown and substituted? Is the true name important? What's the reason for destroying the name of Yahuwah with substitutions? More translations admit were to follow tradition, rendering the name as Adoni, Kyrios, Dominus, and L-O-R-D. Does Yahusha mean I am your deliverer? How many names are there given under heaven among men by which we must be delivered? Check Acts 4.12, Yahshua, Yahuwah, or Isaiah 42.8. Why are the Ten Commandments mostly ignored? Can we build steeples knowing they are forbidden? Check Leviticus 26.1. Where can a person find all the great numbers of teachers saying what the itching ears want to hear? And could they be the same misguided people? Somebody's been texting your phone. Okay, um, okay, I'll read that question again. I apologize. Where can a person find all the great numbers of teachers saying what the itching ears want to hear? And could they be the same misguided people who will claim to have done many great works in his name? Did teachers withhold the truth and lead us into confusion and continuing to do so? Um, um, I'll read you guys the pictures, um, the picture right here. I'll tell them it, I never knew them and warned them not to build, to build steeples anywhere, but they ignored me. People will go against everything I've taught you and erect pillars over all their places of worship. They'll even bring trees into their home which is an abomination to Yahuwah, an abominable thing to bring into your house. Psst, what? Teachers perform every pagan thing and forbid obeying everything Yahusha lived by. Leviticus 26, you can look it up. Yirmiyahu 10, 1-15, and Deuteronomy 7, 1-26 forbid such activities as Asherim which is bringing a tree into your home. That is the Asherah tree. Why does the yeah, state reward the religious idea. organizations tax exempt status? Huh, that's a good question. Is the 501c3 status preventing clergy from teaching about Yahuwah's instructions, yeah, condemning that's, sexual that's contact chill. between males or chill, interspecies? Chill. Chill. Uh, see Leviticus 20:13. Is it still an abomination if a man lies with another man as if he were a woman? Yes. <laughs> Will Yahuwah welcome unrepentant liars, homosexuals, and unclean animal eaters into his supper? I think not. But ask your pastor. If, you, if you're a Christian and you want to come out of battle, ask your pastor all these questions. Um, if Torah is against an unborn child being hurt by accident, can it be assumed that Yahuwah doesn't mind if someone kills an unborn child intentionally? Abortion. Read Exodus 21, 22 through 25. Sorry, I'm back. Um, what relationship is there between the Sunday, mor the Sunday morning meeting or meetings, the state and grocery stores selling beer? Hmm. I I forgot about that. 
I want to find out what that is, and I I want to come back on and answer these questions if I can. But these are just for you guys to write down as a reference, so you can ask your ask your pastor if you're still in Babylon. Um, will there be Sunday morning meetings at steeples after Yehusha's return? Will there be wine at our marriage supper? Matthew twenty six twenty nine answers that question. Did Yehusha drink wine? Did Paul or Shaul advise Timothy to use wine to calm himself? 1 Timothy 5.23. And I remember that verse. And yes, he did. Um, at Exodus 30.23 is cannabosum, Latin cannabis, a primary ingredient in the anointing oil or not? See Hebrew text. Why don't we guard the seventh day rest, sign of the everlasting covenant, the Shabbat? which Hebrews 4 says remains a rest for us. Should we do the word or just hear the word? And another one. What did Yahuwah tell us is the reason he is coming to burn the earth? Yahshiyahu, Isaiah 24, 5, and Malachi 4, 1 through 6 tells us this. The answer to this question. He is coming to burn it for his, um, because, um, there's so many abominations on the earth. People are not following Torah. They are following after false teachings of, of men. And um, they're following false traditions. They're celebrating pagan holidays. Um, they're not following the commandments. Um, they're not loving their neighbor. They're not, they're not loving. They, if people were loving these days and kind, and people weren't blatantly like being homosexual like that's something that's wrong you who it's against yahuwah yahuwah didn't make man and man to lay together he made a man and woman to lie together to procreate and populate the earth why do christians eat pigs is it because they misunderstood peter's vision acts 10 yashiyahu 66 17 I'm listening to some music by Hezekiah and a few other uh, artists that um, they sing uh, R&B and rap music about Yuhua and it's pretty inspiring. I love it. Okay. Why do we decorate with pagan fertility symbols and celebrate pagan festivals and call them by different names? Um... What is the message of Aliyahu, and why haven't we war ha haven't you, the pastor, warned us about about this? Malachi four one through six answers this. What is behavior tight? Why is behavior tightly controlled, and ne and never anything like Yahusha lived? One Yahukin in two six will answer that. Should we be concerned? I would be. What is sin? Do you teach against it? One Yehukin in three four will answer that. What is repentance? Is eternal life possible for those who continue to sin, or should we all teach and obey Torah? We all should. Has the world been taught a false message by heretics, or are the heretics the people who teach obedience? People like to call us heretics that teach truth, but the real heretics are the ones that are spreading the lies. That's what I believe. If we pray repetitive prayers or speak to the dead like Catholics, Muslims, and Hindus, does Yahuwah hear us? Is holy water adopted from a Hindu Ganges ritual? Yes, it is. Um, where does Yahuwah tell us he is three persons in one Allahim? Or you would tell your pastor in one G-O-D. Baal, Shalishi, means three Baal. 2 Kings 4.42 will tell you this answer. Okay, The days of the week are named after pagan, Roman, and Norse deities, and people are claiming the fifth day to be Thor's day. That's another pagan deity, uh, without knowing what they are actually saying. Should you be telling them, knowing Shamoth or Exodus 23.13 and Psalm 16.4, inform us not to do so? Toasting with blood or wine to sky deities by raising a glass. 
um, to them is clearly described as abhorrent behavior, an abomination to our father. Is there anything offensive to Yahuwah about mentioning the names of other, although non-existent, beings? Yes, there is. He would be very angry and wrathful. A reference in the 1945 Encyclopedia Americana, G.O.D., a common Teutonic word for personal object of religious worship. Okay. Formerly applicable to superhuman beings of heathen myth. On conversion of Teutonic races to Christianity, term was applied to supreme being. Exodus 23 and Psalm 16 direct us to not pronounce the names of other Allahim or lofty, lofty ones, mighty ones. Not let their name be heard out of our mouth. G-O-T-T, Got, or G-O-D, are forms of the name used for the sun deity, the sun in the sky, of the Norse, as the above reference verifies. All the names for the sun deities derived from the first sun deity, the man Nimrod, who became worshipped as the sun after his death. That's why they celebrate Sunday so fervently and meet and have Sunday meetings for the Christians and Catholic churches. When we use the false names, Yahuwah knows our teachers are, are failing us. And he will deal with them if they do not repent. Now here's some more questions to ask your pastor. Who was the first human being to be worshipped? Nimrod? How many pagan cultures have trinities and use cross symbols to represent the sun? Why did the Latin Vulgate use crux to translate storos or stake and not the Latin word storo? Is Yahusha two persons or is Yahusha the exact representation of Yahuwah as Hebrews 1, Colossians 2, 9, Philippians 2, 11, Yehukanen 14, 9 tell us? Why did they try to stone Yahusha at Yehukanen 10, 33. What is necromancy? Is a rosary different from a Ouija board? Are demons behind both? When Yahushua's pupils asked, asked him to teach how, how to pray, did he explain the yoga mats, prayer shawls, davening, rosary beads, and circumambulating at that time or reveal these later on? Another big question for pastors. How can we ignore Yahuwah's Torah and still believe he hears our prayers when he says he does not? See Proverbs 28.9 for that answer. Is astrology acceptable and is it related to the mother of harlots, the queen of heaven, baking cakes, blowing out candles, making wishes to genies, and Nimrod's rebellion? Is December 25th Yahusha's date of birth? Did the Magi arrive to visit him with gifts then? or at a house when he was around two years old. Have we turned aside to any myths you can recognize? Who is teaching people to believe all the myths? Is the word Easter the name of the mother of harlots, or should the KJV keep it at Acts 12.4 and strike the word Passover the other 28 times it is translated from Pascha? Or, or Pesach. I think, yeah, no, Pascha, yeah. Um, is the KJV based on the Latin Vulgate, and was it translated by Anglican Catholics? Was King James baptized as a baby in the Catholic circus, or Kirke, or Circe? Constantine and Apollo. In the Edict of Constantine in 321, the Edict of Constantine 321 made it the death penalty for anyone to work on the venerable, venerable day of the sun in honor of Sol Invictus, or Apollo. Later in that century, a Catholic council at Laodicea announced that any who observed resting on the Shabbat were to be cut off from CHRAST. This council acknowledged the Sabbath as real, but condemned anyone resting on it. What, Roscoe, is that you? Oh, you're that ball, dude. Roscoe, you're that ball, ball. Oh. Yeah, that's messed up. Bird mine. 
Okay. Um, they were ordered to rest as Christians on the day of the sun. What do you say we should do? Obey the written word or obey men instead? Can we pour hot coals into our laps and not be burned? Proverbs 6.27 How will pig eaters stand on the great and awesome day of Yahuwah? Who told you to eat pigs? Yahshua Yahu or Isaiah 66.17 If pigs are okay, how about roaches, bats, monkeys, and horses? Do you obey any of, of Yahuwah's commands? If we teach and obey his commandments, will he condemn us for it like men do? See Revelations 12.17 Oh, yeah. uh, I know. I know you're tired. Um, now you just want to go If to not, mask. which of the okay? Can we can we obey the teachings of men and obey the teachings of Yahuwah also? If not, which of the two should we obey? Which would you want to date? Which would you want to date your daughter? Is being legal good a good or a bad thing to Yahuwah? What makes legalism abhorrent, and why does the word sound so toxic when spoken by most teachers? Is it legalist or or a her is a is a legalist a heretic of some kind? Where is the word legalism found in scripture? Does Yahusha want us to obey the Ten Commandments and walk as he walked? Well, I'm gonna have to go back to whispering then. No, it's At just stupid. Yahuwah 14, 15, he said, If you love me, guard my commandments. If you we obey his Torah, to are we trying to earn anything or show him we love him? Can go to your if we believe everything. only and do not obey, don't the demons Pretty do sure the same? They're, they're the same? If I have come to love Yahuwah's commandments, does that mean yeah, I'm doomed or rather circumcised yeah. in my heart by Yahushua? Ezekiel 36, 27, you can get that answer. And Jeremiah 31, 31. Leviticus 26 1 you forbids. Be louder and louder because you want to get in no, I don't. <laughs> forbids placing pillars mm -hmm. anywhere in our land. I Do you think Yahuwah thinks a steeple is different and loves to look at them now? Did a Roman Kaiser install a bell inside the tower of the Temple of Lupitor? And how is it we have imitated this in Christian architecture? Deuteronomy 12 4 and 12 31. Can we call him whatever name we want, or should we investigate what Scripture tells us is, I'm obeying is his, his true and only Hebrew I'm name? See Yahshiyahu or Isaiah 42 8. Not to get in trouble or get anybody in trouble. For what reason is the dragon enraged at the seed of the woman? Revelation 12 17. They don't know the trouble I'm if having. We, if we abide no in idea. his word, will we disappoint Yahusha no or the dragon? Are there any wrinkles in the bride's yeah, garments? Wow. Should we You're use... You're kidding me. You knew that. No, I didn't know this was snapped off. Come on. Where? Right there. Wow. Good job, Should... Roscoe. Yeah. Go. Should we use the Greek word B-I-B-L-E, the ancient coastal city of Byblos? was the source of parchment and became the Greek world's term for what we call paper yep, yep. today. A custom is a habit handed down to us from the past. If we call the word of Yahuwah by a traditional Greek term that is not found in his writings, prophets, or Torah, it needs to be investigated. We don't call his word by any other ancient city, nor should we. Biblia is the Greek fertility deity whose temple was built in the city of Byblos named after her. Athena, Artemis, Aphrodite, etc. are other terms used to refer to the same false deity. This term has stained our garments long enough. If Yahusha or his pupils never referred to the word of truth by such a term, we should drop it and use the inspired reference. Ketav Amat, the writings of truth, not B-I-B-L-E. It's even capitalized because it's a name. You definitely will not like this. Go and look at fossilizedcustoms.com slash asherah.html. And uh, I will be, um, in my next lessons, I will be bringing some more questions to you to put on here and um, some more truths about Yahusha. And you are a servant of the, of the one you obey, Secrets of the KJV, um, a black swan event, um, something you could, you could never have seen coming. A prophecy is being fulfilled right now. Thank you.
um, KJV evidence of a conspiracy. The name is conspicuous in its absence. And that's where I'll leave off um, with the next video. Um, I love you all, Mishpaka. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Um, shalom and blessings.